you, how would you describe your experience this weekend today? It's, it's been amazing. I've loved it. Got to share it with my family. You know, compete out there. Watched that home run derby yesterday. So uh, it's just been a great couple days. You have such a huge first half. What was it like to just continue that with, mm -hmm. a, with a home run at the All Star game? Oh, uh, that was nice. That was fun. And uh, yeah, you want to go out there and play well and. Uh, it was nice to be able to, to you know, hit that homer as my first one in an All-Star game, so uh, it was pretty cool. What were you looking for against the Shanahan? Um, just, you know, trying to get something middle of the plate, hit hard. Uh, I set it out there. I think I, we faced him earlier and had popped up a couple balls, and so I just was trying to get on top of one a little bit more and, you know, didn't want to miss it. A lot of times when you talk to players at an All-Star game, they talk about in their conversations with others some of the things that they pick up and that they learn. What about you this time? Yeah, I mean, Morris has been getting to know guys. We've obviously talked baseball and stuff like that, but it's just been fun to get to know everyone on a personal level. A lot of guys you're competing against and to be on the same team. And uh, I mean, that's, that's one of my favorite parts. Goldie, what was it like sharing this with Albert as well, your teammate? It was amazing. It was so cool uh, yesterday, what uh, all the players and fans, everyone did and, uh, for him to go out there and, and perform well in that home run derby. Uh, he's been a great role model for our, for all of us, and uh, that was really cool for him to get to you know soak it all in yesterday. I think he gave like a pregame like pep talk to him in the mm -hmm. clubhouse. What was it like to be part of that? So I mean, it's just an honor to play with him and, and to get to see this and be part of this. And I've been fortunate to be part of small star games with some other greats like uh, Jeter, Rivera, now you know Cabrera and Albert. So it's really special and you know memories I'll have for a lifetime. What about uh, snap? Uh, yeah, we're gonna need some runs. So let's, uh, you know, we want we want to win. So hopefully we can get some runs here in the last few innings and get a win. You're such a process guy during the season. How do you approach games like these? You learn enough of them now. Oh well, yesterday was like an off day, so I knew I wasn't gonna do anything. But today when I showed up, it was a lot more. Let me get my routine and. You know, move your body around, get ready to hit, hit in the cage, and, and get ready for the game. So today's definitely a lot more serious. But you know, once I came out of the game, then you can uh, enjoy it a little bit more. Uh, uh, All star homer, how, how significant is that for you? It was cool. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I hadn't been able to do that before. I wanted to play well and try to help us win. Hopefully, you know, we can get some runs. So uh, this is a cool moment. You know, running around those bases and, and getting to do that and something I hadn't done before. Were, were you expecting the, the pickoff throw in the first? I knew Clayton had a good one. I think he's picked me <laughs> off once, and uh, I didn't think he'd pick off, but I, I did see when he started to pick off, you know, Otani kind of get off, and, and, you know, I kind of, I'd seen it before, so I, I had to kind of recognize it a little earlier and, and, and knew we had a chance. I mean, that's cool to be part of that, too. With, I mean, happy for Clayton. I mean, he's been a Hall of Fame pitcher his whole career to start his first All Star game here in LA, and Otani, you know, one of the iconic players around the world for those guys to, you know, do that and lead off and um, honestly pick off to be part of that. It's, it's fun to play defense behind those guys that normally are trying to get you out. So it's something I've enjoyed to get to play defense, you know, with whether it's the shortstops or the pitchers and all these guys that you don't get to play with. So uh, that was another cool moment there in the first inning and um, just very thankful to be part of it. You've been in these before, but uh, just to be spend some time, be on the field with Game's quick. Oh, sorry. No I was trying to do that. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. I love it. So it's just a lot of fun. And great, great memories. Paul, do you have any exchange with Otani after the pickoff? No, nah, I think he was laughing. I just kind of walked off, and uh, I don't think we, we really talked about it. No, we definitely didn't. You know, talk about it. When we talk about it, when we talk to the pitchers, we also they do talk about maybe letting one go, see what they get, see what the guys do so hard, see how hard they can hit. For a hitter, do you break from your approach at all? When Tani walks up, they're saying first pitch, first swing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know if, if if he was serious about that. That was pretty cool, you know. <laughs> Clayton, Clayton threw him a fastball, so just kind of see what you can do. And, um, I mean, as far as me, you know, I don't really want to try to do anything different. And, um, you know, luckily today was was able to get that home run. Paul, you've always uh, hit really well at this park. What is it you like about hitting here? I don't know. I mean, as you can't really explain stuff like that. So I've had, you know, some good series. I've also had some bad ones. Their pitchers are really good. But I was thinking, you know, stepping in the box was a little bit more normal than when some of the AL stadiums and, and playing here so much with Arizona. Um, I definitely felt a little bit more comfortable, like more of a normal game, even though it had to, you know, be in the other dugout. But stepping in there is something I'd seen a lot. So maybe that helped.